What's going on, everybody? Your boy man up here. I got a video I want y'all to pay close attention to because what this therapist says is what a lot of men have been saying for generations. For, I mean, for generations. It's like women know how to manipulate. They know how to use facial expressions, body language, tone of voice, certain words, phrases, things like that to get you to believe them. And we as men, we were always taught, believe our queens. The wonderful woman that, that is in this world, she will never lie to us. She, will, You know, all that stuff until we get older and we start realizing. Let's go ahead and get into this. I don't want to waste too much time. I have been trained, <laughs> very strongly trained by my mentor to never believe a woman's story in her marriage. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have gotten sucked into a woman's story because we are, are so convincing. We are so manipulative. We know how to dramatize and, and exaggerate the circumstances and experiences in the marriage to suck someone in, to feel sorry for us, to validate us in our victim story and have, have even really no awareness to question that story from a woman and, and try to understand, well, what what would the, the husband say or what what's his experience though? What's his side of the story? And we bring that into therapy. So I, like I said, I can't tell you how many times over 10 years that I got sucked into a woman's story and my mentor had to help me break through my cognitive dissonance and get back to the fundamental truth that I know I've gotten. Now, as you can hear right there, before I continue, a woman is saying that she believed other women and she knows that women can manipulate. So if a woman is being tricked in food, you damn right. A man is going to be tricked in food. We're going to believe what this woman is telling us. Mainly because we don't know, so we're going to believe her story because we don't know her. Nine times out of ten, we don't know her. And if we do know her, she knows how to play certain, you know, events or circumstances in her favor. So it's like women know what to say and do. Like she just said, they know how to get people on your side for whatever their reasons may be. So it's like, if y'all know this, then how come things are the way they are? How come y'all have this moment, believe all women? When women know, women be lying. <laughs> women are the biggest liars. Men cannot lie that good. Because we, I, I don't know. It's just that we are not good at it. We don't remember the lies. We might say something right now, then two seconds later, kind of flip it, and then we say, well, yeah, uh, but, well, yeah, you know, we get caught in our lie. You know what I'm saying? Women know how to manipulate. They know, they know what to do and say. And it's like people believe it. Let's go ahead and continue. So much better. It's very rare that that happens now, but it can still happen because we are so convincing. It would, it's just like, it would almost be blasphemy to not believe some of the things a woman says. And, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. You have to. That's terrible. Maybe he's not a good man. I'm going to stop it right there. How many how many stories have you heard where a woman breaks up with a man and say he did this, he did that, he did this, he did that. And then later on, the woman come out and say, I was wrong. He did not do this. I was just mad at him because. He didn't do what I wanted him to do, so I told him I'm going to get revenge. Or the man might have some kind of evidence to, to, to come back and say, nope, that ain't true. And it's a shame men have to have overwhelming evidence for you to believe him. And sometimes you still don't believe him. That's crazy. Even, okay, for example, the Michael Irvin situation. People were saying Michael Irvin did what that woman said that he did. 
at the hotel that day uh, a couple of days before the Super Bowl, about a week or so, whatever it was, for the Super Bowl. People was believing that woman. I don't want to say the words here on social media, but you get my point. People was believing her. And then when Michael Irvin come out and say, no, I didn't do that, I didn't do that, people wanted to bring up his past. Well, remember back in the 90s, he did this, he did that. So when, uh, I think it was the Marriott, uh, don't quote me, I forgot what hotel it was. But anyway, uh, she, he, Michael Irvin had the evidence. The cameras don't lie for nobody. So when the camera showed that nothing happened, everybody was like, what the hell? Another situation everybody believed. The brick lady. Until the police got the cameras from that club that night and showed that that woman was lying. Now everybody got to come. See what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm just bringing these examples up because we've all seen it. Seen these kind of situations happen before. Women will say something and you will automatically believe it. And, 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 and men have to go through hell and hot water for you to believe anything he say. For you even believe that he told you his first name is, I don't know, Michael. I'm just throwing something stupid out there. <laughs> You'll be like, uh, let me see your ID. Let me see your birth certificate. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But it's women that are known for lying. And you will believe her. That's the crazy part. But let's continue. We are so convincing. And I've also had the pleasure over the years where I've worked with a woman. She has a, a strong story of her husband and how he can be aggressive or controlling and a narcissist. And she paints this story. And then I've had the pleasure to actually meet her husband because she's trying to, you know, we, we always want our husbands to change. So. It's interesting women will convince their husbands to, to take my men's course. Notice she said women always want the husband to change. You see what I'm saying? They always want the husband to change. They don't think they have to change anything. See what I'm saying? That's manipulative right there. That's already a red flag right there. You don't think you have to do nothing. The other person has to do everything. Let's continue. Which is interesting because of what I teach men in that course, which is about all our woman ways and how men have to take their power back. But I, I've met these husbands and it's, I meet them and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she has, has the story of this man because they're, they're the typical good man, just loves their wife is caring, is confused about how they're always wrong and can't be right. And when I meet the husband, it doesn't add up at all with the woman's story of him. So let me stop it right there. I'm going to try to make this story quick as possible. Now, true story. Met one of my sister's friends. Uh, you know, she she talks. She's one of those that talks a lot. And she would t paint a picture of her ex-husband as if this man was the devil himself. I mean, she would tell a story and you would believe it. Then when I finally met that ex-husband, I asked my sister, I said, this is the man that she was talking about? I said, yeah, that's him. I said, wait a minute. This man was well-dressed, nice suit, proper manners when he came over to the house. was well, my sister's house, that is. Uh, uh, uh. He talked proper, never used profanity. He was all into his daughter. And I'm like, this is not the man that she was talking about. She made that man seem like he was the, I mean, just, just this evil monster. Then as time go on, I got to know my sister's friend a little bit. Come to find out. She was the monster. She was the evil one. But the way y'all women paint a picture will make everybody believe you. And y'all know this stuff. That's the reason why you do it. But let's continue.
It's more to that story, but I tried to make it quick as I could. But let's continue. Therapists are not trained to break through the stories of a woman. And because they're already biased, they already have that gender bias to believe and take on the perceptions of the woman and have that prejudice towards men, they get sucked in. And, and here's the thing is that the very same tactics we use as women in a marriage to manipulate our husbands and brainwash them to believe they are the problem are the same manipulative tactics that we use to draw a therapist into our story and get the therapist on our side. We're using the same tactics and then the therapist gets brainwashed into believing the man is the problem. Yep. Every woman wants to believe, wants you to believe they was with this sorry ass man. This man didn't do this. He sucks. He's not a good man. Blah, blah, blah. Every therapist does, I mean, not therapist, I'm sorry. Every woman does that. They'll tell a story, and the way women tell stories, you'll believe it. Like I said, women know how to manipulate. Women know how to say, uh, 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 no matter what's going on, he's the problem, he did this, he didn't do that, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, damn, really? Okay then why was you with this guy? You know what I'm saying? We start questioning stuff like that. And then she's right. Like the story I just told, when you finally meet the guy, you're like, huh? No, this ain't the guy you were talking about. What, what that man you were talking about? Where you at? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But let's continue. I've had several female clients over the years who very quickly trusted me because I didn't buy into their stories and I called them out on it. I have one client in particular. I will never forget my first conversation with her. She reached out to me. She had this big story about her husband. He never pays me any attention. He doesn't validate me. Um, he, he doesn't even compliment me ever. I don't, he never even says, I love you. And she had this whole story, but she was also sharing, you know, but I know I have these behaviors and this is how I show up. And this is, was a very, uh, is a very high powered woman with a very successful business. Let me stop right there. Of course, they got to throw in a little bit bad about themselves. Just a tad bit, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. So they don't come off, you know what I'm saying, as, you know, you, you're not believing them. So, of course, they're going to say, yeah, I know I have a, a problem where I don't tend to listen. <laughs> That's it. That's it. They'll say something like that. Because if it's all bad on him, they're going to know that you ain't going to believe him. So they got to throw in just one or two little small bad things about themselves to get you to believe them. Well, let's continue. And she gets done telling her story. And I, I knew I had to be totally direct with her to gain her trust, to gain her respect. And I told her point blank. The problem is your husband is terrified of you because you are such, pardon my language, because you are such a bitch. Yeah. And this is why I say, Women need to tell other women the truth. Yes. I've said that a gazillion times. Women need to tell other women the truth. And the reason why I say that is because when a woman say tell a woman another woman the truth, it is received a lot better than when a man say it. I don't know why that is. A man can say the same exact words, the same exact tone, the same exact everything. But it just, for some reason, when it comes out of a woman's mouth, it's accepted a whole lot more. Let's go ahead and continue. She's almost done. Got like another minute or so. And I didn't mean it mean, and I didn't mean it judgmentally. I was just telling it to her straight. And also knowing the own experience of myself as a woman and the women that I had worked with. And her jaw dropped open. <laughs> and I didn't know what was going to come out next. <laughs> but she just looked at me and she said, thank you. 
you're a hundred percent correct. She said, I've never ever had a therapist ever be direct with me and has always let it, let me manipulate them. You're the first person who's called me out. So we have to be called out women and we have to see what's really going on. And if they're a couples counselor, isn't going to do that because they're already trained to believe our story. Also too, I think a, a, a couples counselor is not going to do that because they're afraid they won't get that money. Let's just be honest and be real. And like she just said, see that woman said, thank you. You the first person ever called me out and tell me the truth. Yes. Women need to tell other women what's up. Because if you don't, all this crap's going to happen. And then when stuff start, to hap start happening to you or to other women or people in your family, people you're close to, period, then you're going to be upset. But then men are going to be like, hey, we told y'all a long time ago you need to put a stop to this. But nobody listens. But I ain't going to harp on this too much longer. I know the video's already long. All I'm going to say is, women know how to tell a story to get you to believe them, to get you on their side, to get you just to manipulate you whatever, for whatever her reasons may be. And, man, it's glad to hear, it's, it's refreshing to hear another woman say this, to hear a woman say these words. It is so refreshing because it is 100% accurate. I don't know why women don't step to other women and tell them what's up. Man, you got a few here and there, but it needs to happen more often.